I'm deeply concerned about the rapid escalation and global spread of infection. COVID-19 has spread to over 200 countries and regions, forcing governments to resort to drastic measures. Un Italia, zona protetta. Todo nuestro país, en toda España. A national emergency. Temporary restriction on... Some poor lockdown hone jara. Go home and stay home. More than a third of the world's population is under some form of lockdown with their movement and travel restricted in varying degrees. The measures vary, but the purpose is the same, to slow the spread of the highly infectious virus. One of the strictest lockdowns so far was the first, the lockdown of Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak in China. Now, Wuhan is the city at the center of the coronavirus the outbreak. Has suspended public transport as well as... Suspends public transport and outbound travel. Zhang Guang, one of China's top epidemiologists, was sent to Wuhan in January to investigate the outbreak. Could从现在来看的话呢，确实是这个建议的话呢，能够那时候提出来。为什么那时候正好是春节以前的这个春运？我们非常担心春运可能把这病毒带到各处去。中国山东航空公司SC。S Two days before Chinese New Year's Day. China imposed the largest quarantine in history, first in the city of Wuhan, then the entire province of Hubei, affecting over 45 million people. Later in February, Chinese researchers calculated that if this quarantine was delayed by five days, the total number of cases in China would have tripled. A lockdown can easily backfire, but it didn't. Thanks to 580,000 community workers in Wuhan mobilized to help residents. We when the outbreak worsened in Wuhan, some residents were not even allowed to leave their compound. We locked down the, the concept will be going to the community setting. So keep keep at home and uh, to avoid uh, uh, the uh, to contact other people and not attending the meeting, and not attending the banquet, that's very important. Zhong Nanshan, a respiratory scientist, is leading China's COVID-19 team of experts. In China, we choose uh, suppression. So do our best as far as better. So trying to make this um, occurrence, uh, the incidence, to the, to the minimum. And then uh, it's, uh, nobody can block, can stop the uh, spreading or stop the infection of this kind of disease. But we can try to do our best to inhibit the spreading. Back then, many questioned the effectiveness and the necessity of such restrictions. 
But today, experts like Dr. Anthony Fauci, a key health advisor in the Trump administration's coronavirus task force, believe it made a difference. Their efforts have been draconian, something we never would be able to do here. But even though there are a lot of things that have unintended negative consequences of that, I think it did help dampen what would have been a broader Chinese. Wuhan was terrible, but I think they prevented a broader spread. According to this study, Wuhan's quarantine only delayed the outbreak's progression in the Chinese mainland by three to five days. But at the international level, the number of imported cases from China was reduced by nearly 80 percent till mid-February. We're encouraged that the steps China has taken to contain the outbreak at its source appear to have bought the world time, even though those steps have come at greater cost to China itself, but it's slowing the spread to the rest of the, country, the, the, the world. We have a simple message for all countries. Test, test, test. Test every suspected case. If they, ha if they test positive, isolate them and find out who they have been in close contact with up to two days before they developed symptoms and test those people too. Test, test, test. That's exactly what South Korea did. In early February, when they had less than 20 cases, they were mass producing test kits, which were sent to regional health centers. By the middle of February, when cases spiked in the city of Daegu and made it their worst hit city, they were more than ready to test for potential cases. And they made it easy. Ten minutes is all it takes, and the results are usually out within hours. The test is also free for all suspected cases. Across the country, there are 50 drive through testing facilities and 600 testing centers designed to screen as many people as quickly as possible. A nation of 50 million, South Korea has tested one out of every 100 citizens, the highest testing rate in the world. Once ranked second worldwide in confirmed cases, South Korea managed to flatten the curve, slowing the virus's spread so that fewer people need to seek treatment at any given time. The faster the infection curve rises, the faster the local health care system gets overloaded. Hospitals will struggle to treat a sudden surge in patients. In a flatter curve, the same number of people could be infected, but over a longer period of time, allowing the health care system to cope. When Wuhan was locked down on January 23rd, only four countries, the United States, Thailand, Japan and South Korea, reported seven cases altogether. One month later, on February 21st, when cases in China plateaued, the number of cases outside China hit 1,200. What I believe is the window of opportunity is still there. Uh, but where our window of opportunity is narrowing. I would put it that way, narrowing. More countries started seeing more than 100 cases. Authorities tightened their reins, but the virus seemed unstoppable. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. By April 7th, 1.2 million people outside China were infected. In less than two months, the number grew by a thousand times.
While some countries are dealing with the first wave of infections, others are guarding against a second wave, like Singapore. For three months, it has managed to keep cases below a thousand. But there were signs of the outbreak worsening. So in early April, the city-state announced stricter measures. We have decided that instead of tightening incrementally over the next few weeks, we should make a decisive move now to preempt escalating infections. We will close most workplaces except for essential services and key economic sectors. Zhang Guang is confident that China is now better prepared to deal with a potential second wave. Whether it's a lockdown or extensive testing, an effective public health measure is the one that has the people's support. When the government and the people work in tandem, this partnership will serve to buy time for hospitals to treat patients, for authorities to come up with coping mechanisms, for researchers to develop vaccines, and most importantly, to lessen the impact on vulnerable countries. While the virus can no longer be avoided, with proper and timely measures, the number of casualties can be reduced.